Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and on this video I'm going to show you how to dropship items in NetSuite. Stay tuned. In order to use the dropship feature in NetSuite, the first thing you will need to do is check if this feature right here, the drop shipments and special orders feature is enabled in your account. You do that by going to setup, company, enable features, then going to the items and inventory sub tab and checking this box. The second thing you will need to do is you will need to make sure that the item that you want to drop chip is marked to be drop shipped. So in this case, I have this inventory item that I created for this video. And I checked this box right here, the drop chip item checkbox. In addition to that, you will need to select a preferred vendor in the vendors sub tab down here. In this case, I have this drop chip test vendor. In the preferred column, I have selected yes, and I have a corresponding price. The reason NetSuite needs this information is that when you create a sales order with that item, NetSuite will automatically create a purchase order. But in order to do so, it will need a corresponding vendor and a corresponding price for that item. Okay. Now let's see how this works. I have this sales order here. I have my corresponding customer on this sub tab in the item sub tab. I already selected the uh, corresponding drop chip item that I created. And as you can see on this column on create PO column, I have the drop shipment uh, option selected. And if I go to the shipping tab, I can see here the address of the customer. Now, if I save this, I'm supposed to see a corresponding purchase order being created and the address to for the purchase order supposed to be is supposed to have the customer's address and not the company because remember one important thing about drop chips is that NetSuite is not is not supposed to receive or add to your inventory that item because the vendor will be sending that item directly to your customer okay now, if I go to this purchase order that was automatically created and I go to the shipping tab, I can see that the shop two information is the customer's information, not my company. Okay. In this case, I need to first approve this purchase order. This is because of the preferences that I have on this account. Once I mark this as approved, I can mark this as, sh as shipped because remember, I'm not the one receiving this item. So there is no receipt option here. Once I mark this as shipped, I will see the item fulfillment record generated from the sales order. I don't see an item received record. Okay. If I go here, and I complete the corresponding information. And I save this because I already received confirmation from the vendor that they delivered the item to the customer. I click save. And the item will be marked as shipped. Now, because on this account, I have the advanced receiving and advanced shipping features enabled the billing of the sales order and purchase orders will need to be completed separately by clicking this button in the item fulfillment and by clicking this button in the purchase order. Okay. Other things to note is that in accounting preferences, you can also further customize your drop shipment features. So in this case, I have checked the automatically email my drop chip POs to my vendor. You can also select this for printing or fax here. Okay. And that's it. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. And remember, you can also find those of other accounting software tips website at www.fusiontaxes.com.